Hi there, thanks for joining us. I'm Chris McKinnon with the WBZ News Update for you. We have breaking news in Somerville. A woman hit and killed on the commuter rail tracks near Washington Street. MBTA Transit Police say she was trespassing and no foul play is suspected. Police also tell us the woman appears to be in her 20s. Some passengers were transferred to the red line. Commuter rail trains have started running again, but they are behind schedule. Police in Danvers are releasing new information in the investigation into the death of an 18-month-old child. The child's father was picking up the toddler from a babysitter on Fellow Street last night. The 18-month-old, who was napping in the crib at the time, was found unresponsive. The child was taken to Beverly Hospital and pronounced dead. Investigators say the death appears to be a medical issue, but an autopsy will be done today. A strike at Northeastern University has been averted. Dining hall workers at the school have ratified a five-year agreement just hours before they were set to strike. They are pushing for higher wages and more affordable health care. The deal increases wages to $35,000 annually by 2019, and a new insurance plan will be paid for by the employer at 97%. Now let's check in with meteorologist Danielle Niles for the check of the forecast. A little more fall-like today, Danielle. A little bit, yes, Chris. We've got some showers and thunderstorms back to our west as well, moving through the Great Lakes down into the Mid-Atlantic. So for us, you'll notice an increase in clouds, and those clouds will win out at times today. There are those high temperatures, 65 to 70, as opposed to near 80 yesterday. But this is still above average for this time of the year. There may be an isolated evening shower and a passing shower tonight. Overnight lows in the mid-40s in the coolest suburbs, 53 in downtown Boston. The biggest thing you'll feel tomorrow is the wind and the cooler air. Crisp fall air, 10 to 20 mile per hour wind off the ocean. Definitely a little chilly. Upper 50s to low 60s. If you like the cool fall weather, then enjoy it tomorrow because the warmth comes right back in for the weekend. We make it a passing shower on Saturday, Sunday. It looks like we'll be 75 to 80 degrees with a warm front to our north, and the humidity will go up as well. So it's turned sticky again through the day on Saturday and Sunday. We'll still be in the 70s on Monday, too, with the passing shower, which will cool us off on Tuesday, Chris. All right, Danielle, thank you very much. Thanks for checking in with us. I'm Chris McKinnon. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.